you don't want to come out here and wear long jeans because it's going to suffocate you like it's going to suffocate your skin down there and i tell you at some point you're going to a get itchy from too much hotness or from you sweating so much down there that you begin to itch that's what's going to happen to you it's hot i'm not even kidding guys it is very very hot <laughs> welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing i hope you guys are good tell me in the comment section how you're doing anyways welcome back to the channel guys and today i'm making a video for you guys about the things to bring to italy in summer see you don't want to be sleeping on this video to be honest you don't want to sleep on this video the reason is because italy is hot <laughs> I'm taking care of my neighbor's dog today and he's just looking at me like what is she doing who's she talking to you guys can hear him he's like who's she talking to is she going crazy but yeah <laughs> hi my dogs anyways yeah you guys don't want to sleep on this video the reason is because like I promise you Italy is hot hot okay during the summer it is hot as i'm talking to you guys right now it's only 11 a.m in the morning but the hotness eh, oh my god is so hot so this video is necessary because you need to know like from somebody who lives here you need to know what to bring here okay and the fact that i travel around italy a lot i know how most of these other cities are so i'm in a good position to tell you what to bring okay so let's get straight into the video the first thing you want to bring when you're coming to italy is a sunscreen okay because you don't want to come out here and, and if you're light-skinned or you're like white you don't want to turn red and if you're black you don't want to you know you don't want your skin to burn because you already have too much melanin going on okay okay <laughs> so yes you need to bring a sunscreen i honestly don't have one right now to show you guys because i ran out myself and i need to go and buy more so don't be like me have it at every point in time <laughs> so the second thing i'd advise you to bring is as a girl you never not want to have this in your collection, okay? This, this is very important, okay? This, this, you need to put this in your collection. The reason is because, first of all, right? Um, you can wear this to almost everywhere. You can wear it to the mall, you can wear it to the beach, you can wear it to a club, like you can literally wear it everywhere. So it's, it's, Something that comes in really handy. So you need to have that in your collection as a girl. And as a guy, I know they have things like this for us, for guys also, you know, short stuffs. The reason is because you want to give your legs room to breathe and you want to give your body a chance to have some breeze going there. Because honestly, you're not going to like it. You don't want to come out here and wear long jeans because... It's going to suffocate you like it's going to suffocate your skin down there and i tell you at some point you're going to a get itchy from too much hotness or from you sweating so much down there that you begin to itch that's what's going to happen to you it's hot i'm not even kidding guys it is very very hot and for shirts you can pair that with something like this something simple you see this it's not thick So you want to bring something like this, as you can see, this guy is very stretchy and it's just one layer, it's just one layer and because it's armless, it gives your arms the room to get some breeze in, okay, so you're not all, you know, I don't know, but honestly, you're going to need something armless, I'm not saying you have to buy this exact one that I have, <laughs> I'm just showing you like things that you you need things that you might want to bring and yes even for guys you are you have like all this i don't really know what you guys call it but it's like it doesn't really have a very long arm it's just very petty and you know very free so for guys 
that's it if you really are the kind of person like me who do not like to show a lot of skin i'm going to show you something that works perfectly for you you see something like this right you'll be thinking but this has long hands right but let me tell you guys this thing is so look so yes even though it's it has long arms it's a see-through shirt and it has only one layer literally just one just one layer it has it, it has nothing else in it it doesn't even have like a thing to help your body you not know, to help somebody not see your body the reason is because when you wear it on your body nobody's seeing your body when it comes to like dresses as a girl i'd advise you to have something like this in your collection right you see the arms you see that the hand is very it's just one strap you see that just one strap and it's just free okay look it's just a wiggly free dress that it's not going to hold on to your skin or anything like that. So I'll advise you to bring things like this in your collection. Things that are, you know, like they're not very, they're not heavy. If you want to bring uh, a turtled neck long, please don't do it, okay? That is that. And when it comes to shoes, guys, <laughs> very important. When it comes to shoes, this is going to be your best friend okay you want to bring sandals and slippers and flip-flops things like that something that you can walk comfortably in because in italy you have to walk everywhere driving out here is crazy and parking spaces are very limited so when you go to a lot of places you have to go park in like a paid parking space and then walk everywhere it is the best way to see italy one thing you don't want to bring to Italy is a shoe like this, alright? You see, this shoe is very heavy. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's a very heavy shoe, okay? Like, lifting my leg in this shoe is like a giant walking it, so it's, a, <laughs> it's a very heavy shoe. This is not the kind of shoe you want to bring to Italy at this time of the year. It's hot. Wearing this kind of shoe will require you to wear socks or stocking or whatever you people call it okay you don't want to wear socks in summer like you don't want to wear socks in italy summer it's hot it's too hot for you to want to wear socks and for you to avoid wearing socks you need to avoid wearing shoes like this so yeah don't bring this kind of shoe this is not the shoe for you in summer if you're the shoe type and you really want to bring a shoe right this is the shoe you should bring okay this shoe is just literally Look, it's you can't bend that shoe. No, it's not the bendable type. It's not even the cloth material. But this one looks, it's a genie, genie kind of material. I don't know if you guys can see it. Right? It's just a jean. Look, it's very, very, like, it's not thick at all. So, if you really do want to bring a shoe, this is the kind of shoe you should bring. A shoe that is, like, clothy and less heavy. You cannot compare... This shoe and this shoe. Look at them. You see, you see how heavy this guy looks. This is not. Look, this is this is. I don't even know what this is. This is like rubber. This is not cloth. This is a jean-like cloth. This is not. And you can see how heavy this dude is. <laughs> That's not what you want to bring, okay? Another thing you really want to bring to Italy this summer are <laughs> yes, sunglasses, guys. I have a lot of them. Like I wear them to match what I'm wearing, okay? I have like issues with my eyes so not my eyes but around my eye area so I wear glasses a lot and these are things that will help you protect your eyes from the ray of the sun so you do want to bring sunglasses with you don't forget that <laughs> okay so yes I hope that I've been able to help in in some kind of way um and when it does rain it gets cold around like cities that have water like venice and you know all of those kind of places so you're going to need to bring something maybe like a sweater but not a heavy one okay a sweater that is very light that will just protect you from like the cold wind because it's not like it becomes cold it just the breeze becomes cool more like that and if it's towards the evening time it's going to be even cooler so 
that's when your you know your petty jackets comes into place or your petty sweaters come into place so yes if i were you i'll just throw in a little you know a little petty or less heavy nice jacket or sweater yeah so you know the kind of sweater that if it becomes hotter you can easily just tie around your waist and just walk around that's the kind of sweater i will bring so yes guys this is the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed watching it i hope it was not you know too long and i hope i have been able to help in some kind of way um I'm constantly looking for ways to help you guys or to educate you guys more about a being African abroad and be living in Italy in general when I was living in Nigeria I also made videos if you haven't seen those videos I'm going to link them in the description box like I make videos everywhere I go any country I live everywhere I stay I you know I make the best out of it I try to help people who are either planning to travel to that place or who needs to kind of be educated about that place. So when I was living in Abuja, Nigeria, I made a lot of Abuja videos. I traveled to other states in Nigeria and I made videos. So my channel is not limited to just Italy. And I want to say that my video is generally about what it's like to be like African abroad, you know. So I do travel vlogs and I do like to share my experiences a lot. So that's why you will see how to get Schengen visas and all of that because I have been through the process and I know what it's like and how it's like and what you need to bring. So that's why I make videos like that. So literally this channel is about me sharing my experiences. So I like to center it around traveling and lifestyle. So I'd like you guys to subscribe to the channel if you haven't and give this video a thumbs up, okay? It encourages me a lot to know that you guys do love the content that I'm making. And if you have any video ideas that you know you'd like to see from me, I'd like you to comment that down below also. And I'll be sure to look into it if it's in my you know line, if it's the kind of thing that I like to do. I would like to do that. And yes, guys, support this channel. All I ask is you subscribe. That's all, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next one. So, ciao!